with room in the driveway for one vehicle as well. Uh, looks like the neighbor has a golf cart and they're kind of sharing it away a little bit over the line, but it's nice to have a golf cart as well. Decent sized garage with some storage there. This is the entry side. I'll show you the storage over here. Basically under stairs storage. That is a newer water heater there. And this can be locked off owner storage or for guests. You can do monthly vacation rentals here, minimum 30 day stays. You can do long term as well. There's no nightly, weekly rentals here in Hillside. This is unit 92-1502, Ali'i Nui Drive, unit number two. Off of the entry, you have a washer dryer closet, laundry closet, full size system upgraded. Half bath. Two tone paint. We've got tile and carpeting. This is actually a, like a linoleum here. Stainless steel appliances, nice cabinets, Korean countertops, dishwasher disposal. Oh wow, the wind is out of control. Let me uh, deal with that. <laughs> Sorry guys. Wind is a good thing. I like the trade winds, right? Just don't want to be responsible for damaging some blinds. All right. So one thing I love about Hillside Villas is that all of the floor plans are two-story. So you don't have anyone above you. It's a great uh, feature that they have here in Hillside. This one is a three bed, two and a half bath layout. Ceilings are higher. These are about nine foot ceilings. Looks like you do get a private patio lanai here. Not all Hillside Villa lanais are enclosed like this. Some owners have opted to enclose them, others haven't. As you can see, the one next door is not enclosed. It's a nice privacy screening. It goes out and you have these palms. It's very, really private. Even from the second floor looking across, those palms go pretty high. So it's really giving you a lot of privacy. Again, screening here, blocking the AC, but that does swing open for servicing of the AC. You do have outdoor GFCI outlet for this area. Also, the storage closet is fantastic. It's really big, good depth. You could put some shelving in there. Again, some locked storage or just additional storage for, for tenants, depending on if this is a rental or residence. Central air conditioning with the thermostat down here. We go up to the three bedrooms and two bathrooms. This will be the third bedroom. Ceiling fans in all the rooms. We've got these vertical blinds currently looking across towards the pool side. That's the entry point for Hillside over there. The pool is actually right behind that building. So you're really close to the pool. <clears throat> Bedrooms are not huge for sure. At least the two um, guest rooms, the two bedrooms, not counting the master. They're, they're just modest in size. A little smaller but they work you know it's the hillside units are newer comparatively to like um fairways across the street which were built in the 90s so i think these are about 06 time frame these are built if i remember correctly so the guest bathroom here the second bath does have the full tub shower combo and then this is the master suite entry so the master bedroom is a good size like it really is a decent size Comparatively, you can easily get a king size bed, room for dressers on either side. Typically bed would be along this side. And then you do like a dresser, you could do like a TV, wall mount TV. A lot of closet spaces are all the sliders go across and gives you ample space for a couple sides of the closet. And then you do have a linen closet here as well. Master bath does just have the one sink. It's a kind of a bummer, it doesn't have the dual sinks. And it's just a shower, no tub. But there is a tub just right around the corner in the other bathroom, so that works pretty well. I mean, I think these days, a lot of people don't really do a lot of bathtub use. It's the busy lives that we lead, but this unit, it really is a great opportunity in the low 500s. Overall in good condition. Carpeting up here looks like it was clean. Carpeting downstairs, a little bit more worn still workable but if i were to buy this unit i would probably replace the linoleum downstairs and the carpeting 